it's been a really positive couple of weeks here at the club. Two fantastic away wins. Um, and I guess that mood is reciprocated amongst the group. Yeah, 100%. So as as you said, uh, the last week was was really good. Overall, uh, starting from the Cambridge game already, obviously frustrating result not to get a win, but uh, still played reasonably well. Then on to the Bristol Rovers game, and uh, first half played really well, got the goal. Second half, uh, obviously a lot more difficult, but we were able to hang in and uh, got a really, really important win. And then uh, on to last Saturday, Barnsley away, never ever an easy game. And uh, yeah, I think their last home loss was something uh, big enough November, something like that. But we knew as a, as a group and we fully believed that we can perform well in well in there and uh, the first half performance fantastic overall two wonderful goals could have maybe should have even scored a third one uh, then the second half obviously a lot more difficult ones were able to create chances eventually got the goal back but uh, just absolutely delighted to to hang in again and uh, get that crucial crucial win and uh, yeah the the joy af- after the game fantastic the mood uh, the spirit overall this week in a, in a training ground it has been has been really good. But um, at the moment the only focus is now on on Saturday. We haven't been looking back now anymore. Obviously got the, all the good stuff from the Barnsley from the Bristol Rovers game. But uh, yeah, in football you are only as good as your next game. So um, on, on to Saturday. That win at Bristol, obviously it was. Jack that got the assist for Sonny, but I don't think that lung bursting run from yourself to the edge of the box that sort of dragged the defender away is talked about enough. Is, is that the kind of role you see yourself playing? If, if, you, if you're not on the ball, you're, you're sort of looking to disrupt the defence? 100%. So uh, running power is definitely one of my biggest strengths as a, as a player. And uh, at the moment, I feel like I'm really close to being in, a, in the best shape of my my career fitness wise so I, I feel like I'm uh, I can run so much cover so much distance running a, as uh, as high and intensity as uh, as possible and also as as quick as possible and those kind of runs they obviously always disturb the defense so uh, yeah I'm not trying to get uh, too much credit on that that call because it's a fantastic run from uh, from Jack and uh, then it's a brilliant finish from uh, from Sony, but uh, yeah, obviously you have to do those kind of runs. We have been talking on those kind of uh, runs, uh, not just me, but uh, basically all, all the other players as well, to to do those and uh, that creates space eventually somewhere, not necessarily for me, but uh, to to somebody else. Or yeah. we of course saw the infamous celebration when Sonny <laughs> scored as well. I, I do have to ask. Uh, we know, of course, when that first goal comes, you will be doing it. But have you encouraged any of the other boys to maybe get involved? <laughs> <laughs> I really hope so. so <laughs> yeah, I was just so so happy for for Sony, so happy for for the whole team to get that uh, early goal. And uh, yeah, I couldn't really even remember the last time uh, we had scored in the first half be- before that, and I uh, get uh, get the lead. So um, yeah, was just, that was just pure joy, and that that is usually. My celebration. So I, for example, that celebration. I didn't think about that beforehand. It just came out of uh, came out of nowhere. And uh, yeah, hopefully get my first goal soon as possible. But uh, about the celebration, to be fair, I usually always when I score, I kind of lose my head. So I cannot really plan my celebration be before. But uh, yeah, hopefully that day comes soon. How different or how similar do you expect this weekend's game to be t- to that one last week against Bristol Rovers? Uh, yes, good, uh, good question. Uh, Bristol they got a really good win on uh, on Saturday as as well beating Oxford at home, so their confidence will be higher as as well. And uh, yeah, obviously they they want to get a get a revenge, and we we want to continue our really good performances. But uh, it's gonna be a really really tight tight game. They are really good good side as well. A lot of good uh, individuals couple of new new players as well for for them so um, yeah but expecting kind of similar game but you you never know be, beforehand maybe they change something maybe we we change something so uh, that, that is something what what is difficult to 
pre predict, but uh, uh, we have been preparing as, as well as possible for the possible scenarios what we are going to face. And then obviously the main part at the moment is to be able to keep the performance level what we showed first up against them and uh, <coughs> first up against Barnsley. So that is definitely the aim. Over the last two games, I think it's proved that starting well and scoring early is a real positive way to, to win a football match. Um, I'd, I'd imagine that's the, the target again, is to, to score that early goal and, and sort of dictate the game how we want it. 100%, yeah. I don't know we, why we haven't tried that <laughs> before. <so. laughs> it seems, seems quite good. But uh, yeah, of course, like um, in, in football, always when you score first, it is going to change the game. A bit and uh, yeah, on Tuesday it was so crucial to get the get the first goal because the conditions were really really difficult. So in the second half, uh, playing against the wind, it uh, it was really really tricky. But uh, being with the one goal lead, it was definitely not easy to hang in, but uh, possible to to hang in. And uh, then on Saturday as well, the way we played the first half, getting the two goals, it is. So good to go to the second half in a in a two goal lead, but then also in a being a two goal lead, I think there is so much room to improve in our performance that uh, we just cannot be sitting off. And because Barnsley, for example, they were they were able to create way too many chances, eventually getting the goal back. And uh, when it's only one goal difference, anything can happen. Can be a set piece, can can be a penalty, anything like that. So uh, we need to be able to kill the games off. If we have a chance, like against Barnsley, we did have a few good chances to make it three. And then uh, obviously everything is a lot easier af after that. But uh, yeah, scoring early, starting brightly, it is a really good receipt. And uh, just to end, I know you've got eight friends coming over from Finland for this game. I have to ask, is there anyone left in your hometown who has not been to Exeter <laughs> this season? No, that's, that's everybody done now. So <laughs> <laughs> the whole town of Finland. Finnish, Finnish fan club gets bigger. Great to hear. 100%, 100%. Yeah, can't wait. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much.